Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jarelle Mata. Today we're going to be doing the second part of the Sephora BIV sale. I actually ordered some things online and I finally got my package. I did get it last week. However, I haven't been able to actually film uh, until today. So that is what we're going to be doing. So before we start with the haul, please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel if you have not already. And yeah, without further ado, let's get started with the haul. Okay, so it is completely closed. I just opened the box. I'm so excited. It Let's be honest, Sephora's packaging, not the best. I've never been 100% happy of the way that things are actually packed in my box. So this is what is on top of the things that I order and on the bottom, there's only a bubble wrap. I hate it. I wish Sephora was a little bit more careful. So I definitely think that they should, you know, take care of the packaging a little bit better, especially for what we are paying for. And, you know, just take the time to wrap it all around and then they're going to be able to save themselves some money or something uh, for, you know, like if anything comes damaged, I have to send it back or go to the store, and send it back and then they have to reship it. And it's a whole big deal. And I have done that so many times through my whole entire history of shopping at Sephora. I have done it more than once, more than twice, more than three times because things actually come in damage. So I hope that one day they actually listen to us and yeah, the packaging of everything that comes in the box would be a little bit better. Anyway, with all of that being said, let's get into it. So I got a little bonus right here. It was just thrown in my box, which is good. Since I became VIB Rouge again, I actually picked the little bag. It actually looks nice and very sturdy so this is just like a little makeup bag which i'm very excited about i like this very much so the first thing that i ordered was the precisely my brow pencil by benefit and i and i got the shade in six um i know that i actually have tried this one before and i do love the pencil i do like the one as well Definitely this one or my Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wisp Pencil are my favorite. Those are the ones that I actually tend to go to more towards the Anastasia Beverly Hills, but this one is no doubt a great one as well. So the next thing that I got is this little product right here. This one is the Kiehl's Midnight Recovery Eye. I remember hearing um, Kathleen Lice talking about this and she has dry skin. I have combination skin. Yes, I am much older than her, but I still wanted to try it to see how it actually works with my skin. I do take care of my skin a lot. I love, you know, masking and serums and creams. I've always been like that, even when I was younger. Maybe not to like the 100%, you know, eye cream and serum and toner or anything like that, but I do remember actually taking off my makeup and like giving myself mask and I really like that. I whole I like the whole relaxing part of it. And yeah, and you know, I was taking care of my skin while I was doing it. So, I'm talking to you when I was like 17, even 16 years old. That's when I really decided to like take care of my skin. So, it's been a long time. <laughs> They just started carrying this brand in Sephora. That's why I was like, yes, let me pick it up. And so another product that I picked up is the Hourglass Vanish Foundation. This one is the Seamless Finish Foundation Stick. And I got it in the shade amber so i do have one which is the warm beige and i love this foundation once again i am combination skin so i do get oily on my t-zone but i don't care i can blot and like powder again if i really get like nasty oily um but i do really love the finish of this foundation the way that it actually makes your skin look so flawless and it's just it's beautiful and I've actually been using warm beige for a long time now um, it is a little bit lighter for my complexion so that is the reason why I wanted to get a different shade um, just so I can combine them both or maybe use this one for the summer so we'll see how it goes so the next product that I got is this lipstick by Pat McGrath and this one is in the color peep show and this is a very nudie one it's one of the new ones I'm not gonna talk to you or bore you uh, too much of the packaging because I already talked enough about the packaging It's just so beautiful and this is what the color is and it is a matte formula it's like a peachy pink nude 
which is definitely something that I tend to use a lot during this time of year and actually the whole entire year. <laughs> so yes, I love, love, love that one. So the next product that I got is this one right here. And this one is a highlighter and it's in collaboration with Blada. This is from Smashbox. I love love the packaging love it actually it raises up a little bit right here so you actually do feel the texture of the rose that is in between her lips and i think it is so beautiful this one is called the petal metal highlighter so let's see what it actually looks inside and i got the shade i know there's two shades and i decided to go for the gilded rose <gasps> Oh, this is so beautiful. I know you could probably guys have seen it like so many times, but you don't really get to enjoy it until you actually see it in person. So yes, oh, this is so beautiful. Blada is such an amazing artist. She is so fantastic. I mean, her art, it is beyond, beyond my imagination. I don't know how she does it. She is so great at what she does. So yeah, I'm super happy for her and I get to have a little bit of her art in my collection. So yes, this is what the highlighter looks like. The emboss is a rose as well, which I think is so delicate and so, so beautiful. So um, it is a golden shade. So this is what it actually looks like. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see it, but that is what it looks like. So the next thing that I picked up is this one by Stila and this is a glitter and glow liquid eyeshadow and this one is in the shade Wonderlust. Yes, Wonderlust. Mm -hmm. So this is what Wonderlust looks like right here. So it does have a gold pinky shift to it, which I really, really been liking lately. So I'm hoping to use it soon. Um, I'm just, these are so amazing so amazing i love them it, they are super easy to use you don't have to use a glitter glue or anything like that and you can add a little extra like va va voom to your look and then it is super easy you don't have to mess with anything else you don't have to create a big mess with pigments or glitter or anything like that that is the reason why i love this one's because it just mess free so yes yes on that one all right so i do have two more products to show you the next product that i have i do not know if this is actually something that is being hyped or not but i needed to try it but this is a powder that has been creating a lot of buzz here on youtube this one is the hydra mist set and refresh powder so according to what i've seen um, this powder actually feels wet as you are applying it. So I don't want to open it just yet because I do want to make a video using all of the products that I purchased from Sephora VIB Cell and I want to do like a first impressions with this and you know and tell you tell you the tea. <laughs> oh my gosh yes i cannot believe i just said that word but yes give you some information and yeah let you know exactly if it's worth it or not um this was i don't know i don't remember how much it was but i know it's a little pricey it is becca so i do not know i will let you know whether it's your worth your money or not if it actually creates a really nice blurring effect on your skin so yeah but if you haven't seen the first haul that I did, I will link it somewhere up here. So the last product that I picked up from Sephora is this one by Becca. This is a limited edition highlighter and it's called Dreamsicle. And I love the packaging, the whole white and silver. I really caught my attention. And the fact that it's kind of like a peachy golden highlighter, it's awesome. And this is what it actually looks like. So it has like a little swirl. And let me see if I can swatch it. So I swatched it right here in my arm. So it does feel a little bit drier compared to the Smashbox that it felt a little bit more soft. But we will see how it actually plays out on the skin. So things do change from the swatches on your arms to when you actually apply it with a brush to your skin. So I will see what's going on with there, if it's actually worth it. Um, I know it's still available from the last time that I checked, but I hope it still is. Um, so just in case you are interested, you can pick it up. So yeah, that is it. Oh, the last thing that I wanted to share with you is a little gift that I received from Sephora and I actually got mail to my house. I was very freaked out, like super freaked out. So this is it for the haul that I purchased, but yesterday or two days ago, I actually received a box from Sephora and Makeup Forever and I was like, um, I didn't order anything like 
why am I getting a box? So I was a little freaked out because, you know, there's so many crazy things going on in this world that you get a little bit concerned of what people are actually sending you to your house. And I'm like, I don't remember sending any emails with my address to anyone to be receiving anything, especially from Sephora and like Makeup Forever. I'm like, no, why am I getting this? So anyways, I decided to open it very carefully. And it was this two pencils right here so it comes in this little bag which i thought it was so cute and i received for free these are the new makeup forever artist color pencils and i received the shade 902 versatile violet and the other one is 604 up and down tan i have two out of 39 colors and you can use them anywhere on your lips eyes brows cheeks and contour so i can't wait to actually get you know funky with this ones right here and see what i can come up with i do like the fact that i received two one more on the neutral side and the other one a colorful one so let me go ahead and just swatch them for you okay so this one is the versatile violet man that is stunning and it's really really nice and vibrant it is so beautiful and it's like gliding you don't have to put a lot of pressure it's very creamy it is a wooden pencil but it is so creamy i cannot wait to use this one and then the other one which is going to be like the perfect lip liner Ooh, that is nice 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 oh yeah this is super creamy look at that shade this one is up and down tan. That is gorgeous. Thank you so much to Sephora and Makeup Forever for sending these two pencils. I am so, so, so happy that I have them and I can't wait to play and see what I can come up with. So yes, that's it. So yeah, that is it for the haul. I hope that you enjoyed it, that it was actually fun. I can't wait to use all of these products on my face on my next video. So don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel if you have not already. And yeah, that is it. Thank you so much once again for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.